Uh, so welcome guys and this tutorial now we are going to change the skin tone of our character here and I'll show you how to do this one. So what we are going to do that um, I need to come to this one the shaker board here if I want to share the color. So what I do is that for me is simple like I just come here and I click I say I select the head there and then I come down here if you come here you have those one the dots here. So I just click it and what I do is that I share the brightness of this one. So I like to play with the figure like I can say minus 44. And now you see that your character will get dark. And then I can also say minus 30. And your character will look more, not more like you can play with it. But for me, those two figures, they look good for me. So you can just try to play with the brightness and everything, but I would like to leave it like that one. So this is just simple. Just click that one and then try to make it look more of the uh, look, make it look more of that one. So now we have shared our character. So what I'm going to do, you have to mark those numbers, and those are the numbers. Now you come here and. You can use them to make the body because if you zoom, you see the body is still not changed. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change everything like um, I'll just come here and I just use the same numbers like uh, the one that I used and I have, I'm going to just change everything. So don't make it so, com so complicated before because you are going to forget the number. So I come back here. And I have to select the arms and then I have to, to give the arms the same number. And also here, the same number. And then I'm going to go for the regs. And the regs, I'm just going to do the same thing. So, um, so I'm just going to say here with the legs to like minus. 44 and so you can just check this number on your own so for me I don't like to make it so now you have the whole body color shade so the thing is that when I'm doing my character I am not so much interested with the upper the, uh, the lower body because you have to put the character uh, crawl you cannot leave your character the same way like he is so I'll just click my J and now we can try to rotate this one here to see how the character look like. And now what I'm going to do is that I can come back to the skin gen where I showed you and activate my skin gen again. And uh, you have to you have shared the material texture. Do you want to keep the a modified result? Then I'll just say yes. I don't want to change anything. And now just wait for it to finish whatever. So so now we have our skin base and then we can try to activate our skin base. So with our skin base we can come here and try to play with the uh, brightness again and see you see it's getting more darker so you can try to play with this one but whatever i like to do is that i can come to skin a uh, special and i say like what do they have no full skin no skin base uh, let me see there's something I was trying to look like uh, let me go to the makeup and see what they have on the makeup uh, I no rips no uh, miscellaneous so that one we don't need it so uh, I wanted to go to the skin this is what I'm looking for and uh, foundation no that one is for women for women blush no no
so you can try to see but i don't see anything interesting that i can change on this character because the more you do some changes you have to expect those changes they are going to appear on your character and he's going to look more of what you don't we need to see him so skin 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 details uh so uh i think i have to, i can add some skin noise like let me try to add some skin noise and see what is going to happen so so this is would be good like you can just pray to see what kind of a character you want to see on your project and now we have our skin noise so i need to double click it again to, act to activate it and i can start by increasing the opacity and like you see there is some the skin is also changing it's getting more like uh those one like the human things and whatever so i can come here and maybe i can try to make this one black because my character is more black and if you see here on the neck there's more of that one so let me just go back to the uh so if you don't like that one you can just control z to remove the changes yeah so and then let's let me try the roughness of the skin and see what we have so this one is a man let's see um yeah i want to add i don't want to make changes i don't want to replace so you have to be cautious with what you're doing whether you are and on the roughness now you can increase the opacity a bit and then you can try also to come and pray with the this one here you see like everything is changing too much so i would not like to add too much of age because the more you make too many changes the more your character is going to so i can try to play with the contrast a bit so you have to i don't like to do so i can also add some capillary like this one so i just need to add them and now we have our capillary here and what i can do is that i can try to increase the opacity here and if you see good you see that the capillary they are appearing if i zoom you can see you cannot see them go because of the skin tone but there are some capillary appearing so you can also change the uh, the capillary pattern and whatever so you can also do some scale and if you see cool there is something they are appealing on the so you can do some rotation pattern position and whatever so this is just so i'm going to leave my character that way so the thing uh i'm going to do for the my next video is that uh, now we are going out to try to change the because the ai doesn't fit the character and I would also like to do some changes like on the teeth and now we can now start uh, dressing our character that maybe we can try to use the Z brush to make the hair for our character so thank you for watching this video and I uh, hope you to see on my next video and please don't forget to subscribe